y'all. It's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. I want to let y'all know that my channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It's your one-stop shop for anything you need A to Z orchids. Use the code Hillbilly for a 12% discount. Thanks for dropping by, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Um, you're like, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I looking at the top shelf of your... I don't even know what side of the room I call this. I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, um, during weekend walk around, I forgot to mention, actually, uh, the spike on Rosie Sunset F is going over. I need to cut it, which really she needs to catch up on some rootage because, um, I had to repot her emergency uh, one day when I was watering. So, yeah, I had to get that done. But the reason that we're over here, and this is actually, this video is actually a, a repotting video. So, but I forgot to mention this in yesterday's weekend walk around. And if you can see it, you probably can't. <laughs> right there. See it? See the two of them behind there? Aloha Dream Dust. I got two buds coming out on Aloha Dream Dust. So, zoom back out now and bring my arms down because it's so hard on my arms. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention her. Um, I was going around through, you know, sometimes so many things happen and so many things that you think you want to talk about and then you just totally forget. So, that one was one that I totally forgot, and I was like, okay. So, I wanted to mention it this morning, and um, I want to get started on repotting the microfires. Microfires? Microfires? Yeah. <laughs> microfire sparklers. Uh, the seven of them that I just got. I need to get those repotted because uh, definitely I don't want to lose the roots on them. So hang tight and we'll go over here to the table and get busy potting up. All right, y'all, we are back. We are back. I'm back. I don't know who's we. Me and the mouse in my pocket. <laughs> I am back and going to get ready to repot seven of these bad boys. I need to get them done because in my grow space, as I've told you guys, um, this setup does not work for me. And you will probably already notice uh, root loss. Actually, this one don't look too bad. But that's what I want to get them before they get bad. Um, because uh, this, this setup does not do well in my environment. And the this bigger chunk stuff does not keep enough moisture around these roots for me to keep them on these uh, little baby microfires, these little micro uh, fire sparklers. So, and of course, I want them to stay. Um, I had to, <laughs> uh, dear Sweet Ken from the Orchid Supply Store, he sent me supplies because I had seedlings coming to repot. Well, I had wound up using a lot of my seedlings pot, so I thought I had enough, and I didn't. <laughs> So I did have a few that I had to, I went back and washed up to, um, to use. Uh, so I was like, thankfully I did have those. So I had to wash them and, um, yeah, but all of my pots and my, uh, orchid medium is from the orchid supply store. Uh, your one stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. Um, this is a mix of the um, small Orchiata bark and the extra small Orchiata bark, uh, popcorn perlite, and uh, charcoal. So this is a very good seedling mixture I have noticed for me and my environment, and uh, works quite well except for big old hunks like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So far, these guys are doing really, really good, though. Like, see this one? Hopefully, you can see 
it has a nice new growth on it right there so uh yeah we need to need to get these guys um i put three inch pots over here in case i need them uh but i'm not sure how big i'm gonna go on some of them if i need to uh you just kind of have to get them out of the pots and see what's going on with them so let's see what we can't do wiggle them out of here i was freezing to death this morning so i got my got my jacket on <laughs> Got my jacket on in the grow space, even. Well, I did have to pull up my sleeves so that I could wash those pots. But uh, definitely been chilly here the last couple of days. There's actually new growth coming off of this. Can't see. I keep tipping the pot the wrong way. So I gotta be really, really careful with these new, new babies coming up on these guys. I'd rather cut the pots off than to lose new growth. These guys are, they do have some really good roots which is a big plus yeah let's just cut these off because um, I do not want to risk this little pot I'll probably never use it for anything it doesn't want to it doesn't want to comply and come off easily so too bad you're out of here dude So, hope everybody's ready for Christmas. I'm ready for it to just come and go. Um, I told my husband uh, the best, best we're going to do for Christmas is have an expensive meal. <laughs> A regular meal that you normally cook is expensive now. Uh, everything you get is so expensive. You go to the grocery store and it's just horrible. So, I told him, I was like, well, I guess our Merry Christmas is we have a roof over our head. We have heat for today. Of course, our fan on the pellet stove um, is acting up, so I'm, I have to order a fan for it. Um, always something, you know. Uh, we just had the dryer go out last week, so we had to buy parts for that, which I was lucky. You know, my husband knows how to work on that stuff. So, I was excited about that, that he got that fixed. Um, now, I'm not going to mess too much with things, especially this one. This one's got a uh, much bigger root ball, and I really, I think it's a couple, because I've, I've got a growth this way, growth this way. Um, it could be a couple seedlings. Now, see, if I go ahead and put this in that, that's too close. That's entirely... So, I guess this one will go in a 3-inch pot. It's definitely uh, doing quite well and, and ready for a little bit of an upgrade. So, that's what we're going to do for her. Put her in here. Yeah, I, I tell you, I, I am. I, I just, I'm stressed with the times. I, I don't know about everybody else, but... I really am stressed with the times. Um, things have changed so much. Uh, not for the better either. <laughs> things just, um, like I said, around here, it's progressing. Um, our road is just hot with traffic constantly. This used to be just a little country road. It was a little country town. And now it's just so chaotic just not my cup of tea anymore so I keep telling my husband I'm like let's move let's move let's move let's get out of here <laughs> uh, I, I'm just a country girl through and through I, I just like I like my peace and quiet my solidarity um, just yeah I, I do I do like it though um recently now this one kind of it kind of flopped over this way a little bit which like I said I don't want to pull too much on that growth because it's a new growth and uh, it did kind of sink down so that's a little bit better um want it evenly in the pot I uh I had noticed 
um, and it, you know, I feed my birds. You know, I feed the birds. Uh, I love feeding my birds. And, um, of course, when you feed wildlife, other things come. Well, um, I had deer come in. Now, they're jumping. They're jumping, like, two fences to come and eat. So, that kind of tells me they're pretty doggone hungry. Uh, to know that I've got cracked corn out there for the birds and that's what they were coming for was the cracked corn so I went ahead and I bought uh, some regular corn I bought regular corn and I bought some apple um, they um, you know I didn't write down any of these plants when I got them that just dawned on me I guess I'll, I'll go back and do that because um, I'll just I'll write on them when I'm repotting them because we don't really have that much time because seven of these will take a little bit of time to go through and but um, yeah so I went and got them I got them some apple covered like apple coated corn and some regular corn and um, they really didn't seem to care for the uh, apple they, they rather have the regular corn, which I want, it's whole corn uh, instead of the cracked corn that I got for the birds. So, uh, yeah, I got pictures of them. I'll insert a few of them, let you guys see who's who's coming to visit me in the nighttime. I put out the, the webcam, uh, deer cam on that side so I could catch them and see, see what was going on. So, uh, Last night, it seemed like only one of them came in, and it might have been one of the ones from previous previous time, because there was two the first night that I caught them, and uh, just one last night. Look at those roots. Like it, see, I, I just, I would just dread losing those roots. These plants really did fantastic for them. Now, see that one? It's a pretty pretty snug with the new roots but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there just because it's so you know it's it's got some room not a lot I mean it, I'll probably be wind up just pulling it up out of here before long and just you pull it up and place it right down inside of another pot um, you don't really even have to mess with anything because they get they get so compact in these little pots so you just go ahead and transplant them straight over. So, usually works out pretty good. Nice, nice, nice roots. So far, so good. And like I said, if I'd have waited, because I have done it before, uh, I have waited and I've lost roots. That one little. Uh, uh, what is it? It's right up here. Um, I waited too long. Melody Fair Carol uh, crossed with uh, me and Irene Wallace. Uh, I left it go. I left it go and I lost about every root on it. So I've got it up here on the uh, eye level shelf so I can keep an eye on it constantly and uh, keep it, you know, a little watered so that it grows because I, I, I about lost it I messed around didn't pot repot it when I should have and it had I can't remember if it had one root or it had close to none so I'm like that is not what you want so there's number two should be able to put her right back in the same little cup yay but yeah um, I figured you know if those guys are hungry enough to jump couple fences to come and eat I'll, I'll feed them a little bit I, I went to the feed store yesterday and um, I was talking to the guy I said yeah so I've been been feeding them just caught a couple of them on my webcam and um, he said he said have you ever given them a horse feed he said that's really a better food for them I was like you know I was reading that I asked him I said do you guys sell horse feed by the pound and he's like no he said, I did have a bag that got messed up, and he sold it to me for cheap. Uh, he, they had to put it into another bag and sew it up, and I was like, sure. I was like, that that would be just fine. So they came in, the one came in last night and ate. Um, <clears throat> I cut up one apple 
I had a red apple that was going to go bad. So I cut it up and into fours and put it out there and it was gone. It wolfed it right down and um, yeah, so it's pretty nice. But I'd, I'd like to live out where I could just feed them readily, you know, over here. They have to jump the fences and stuff and it scares me anyways because this road, I mean, it used to be, it was bad enough with animals that uh, uh, animals would get hit and killed in it constantly our, our pets and stuff so the cats and the dogs never were allowed to go outside um, but now that it's even worse it's like the deer are getting hit and people are just so careless it's just horrible it's like how do you not see that great big deer right there I mean I know I understand some things happen but sometimes it's not I've had people, dang it, there's a couple that broke. I've had people actually, I've seen them just swerve intentionally just because they're jerks. You know how people can be <clears throat> not nice. <laughs> oh, mercy. But I hope everybody else is having, hope everybody's having a good day. I hope, um, Everybody's getting ready for Christmas. Like I said, I'm certainly not. Um, I still, I have to go somewhere and get a ham. Um, the gentleman at the feed store told me, he's like, a uh, food lawn over town has them cheap. Uh, 99 cents a pound. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but you gotta waste $10 to go over town and gas to go get it. Because our food line's like half hour across town. Um, so I don't know I still gotta go look for that but yeah that's what we're gonna do I mean just have a nice quiet dinner at home and um, I did get my husband some cologne he likes um, he likes that polo red cologne that's his favorite and uh, a bottle lasts him a year so I usually get him that and I did I went ahead first thing and got that in for him and um, this one's got funky eyed roots that are giving me fits you see these two sticking <laughs> they're sticking up like where are where do you think you're going I guess they're just gonna go up and stay there already slept in a little bit too not been resting like I should guess we'll have that though the holidays are stressful the holidays are stressful for a lot of different reasons for a lot of different people um, I wish they weren't so stressful but It is what it is it makes me miss you know those that aren't here to uh, celebrate it and things like that it does make it hard um, and I don't know it seems like all my friends are going through so much and I really I really hope the new year brings better things for them as well um, uh, Quite a few of my friends are I just wish I could take their pain away um, you know poor Glenn he's going through some stuff and um, Maxine's going through some stuff and Betty's not feeling good and she's going through some stuff and I'm like <laughs> I'm like what's going on guys don't drink the water don't drink the water but I, I want y'all to know I'm thinking about you and praying for you and you know you know I'm always there to talk always there to talk um, Justin's having uh, family issues and I, I'm you know I just I love all my friends and I just hate that everybody's 
having issues here at Christmas, you know? It's like, come on. <laughs> I, I guess if that's the time of year you're going to have it, that's the time of year you're going to have it. Because Christmas is, it's, it's tough. Christmas is really, um, like I said, those roots. Oh, I'm glad I got, the, got to these when I did. Um, Christmas can be really tough on a lot of people. Um, I know quite a few of us have lost loved ones and oh, look what I just did. It just popped right off. <gasps> oh. <laughs> All right. This one's getting cut off because that made me mad. I'm done with that. <laughs> Can you believe it? That just popped right off like that. Ah, do not do that again. <laughs> Now I'm um, furious and fumigating. Maybe we need to talk about some better things. Yay! After I get done doing this, this isn't really a better thing, but <laughs> I gotta go make dinner for my hubby. Gotta make dinner. Um, he's out working hard in the cold. Hashtag, I hate winter. <laughs> I do. I really do. I hate winter so much. Yeah, this one's really rooted in really... If I didn't cut this off, I would have lost some roots. That, I didn't realize the roots... I mean, that's the first time I've really messed with that. And uh, I didn't realize they was that fragile. I mean, that's brittle. Sometimes they have really, really brittle roots like that. Some Cattleya types can. Uh, obviously, this one's one that's going to be like that. Like I said, uh, every once in a while you come around, around one that's... Uh, oh, my, look at that. <laughs> I cut through that and I didn't even realize it. All right, I'm getting angry now. There was two of them there that was attached to that, and I cut right through them and didn't even realize it. <sighs> this one has a really nice new growth here, though. Nice little growth coming up here. These plants, I, I'm thrilled with how they're doing. That one, I just pulled that root apart, so just as well cut it off. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting fussy, guys. I'm really flubbing up. All right, slow down a little bit, Paula. Make sure, let me look in here and make sure I'm not cutting any more up through there. I never for once thought that that would be attached to that like that, and it sure was. It fooled me, didn't it? It's got enough roots that it really shouldn't affect it, so that's a plus too. I tell you, Christmas flu here. I mean, it just seems like seems like all of a sudden I batted my eyes and here's Christmas. <laughs> it really, uh, really wild that it, you know, came in so fast. I might have to cut this off, guys. It's been 20 minutes and I don't want to, you know, I'm sure you don't want to sit here with me 20 minutes. Maybe I'll uh, finish potting the rest of them up and if something, something else uh, happens oddly, I'll bring it back on. But if not, we'll get to the ending and uh, ta-da! Sometimes cutting it off better. This one's definitely going into a three inch pot. So because we are not fussing with uh, it's got a lot of roots a lot a lot of roots so yeah let me get this one potted up and I think that's what we'll do we'll go ahead and I will proceed to do the rest of them because they're, they're probably all pretty much going to be about the same um, go along and uh, 
pop them up and I'll come back in the end and show you the rest of them. Uh, like I said, I doubt anything's going to be any different with the rest of them. And we'll just do a end shot. I think that should work out good. So hang tight, y'all. We'll be right back. Alrighty, y'all. We are back. Um, I, I was kind of hurrying, too, because I, I was wanting to sit down. My legs were hurting and stuff, so definitely... Um, I was pushing the issue a little bit was why I was winding up breaking roots too. So I was like, the last ones I sat down and cut the pots off of them and really went over them. And believe it or not, I was really kind of surprised. Um, I, got them, I got them watered right now too. Got them so that they can get adjusted to this new medium. Uh, really, really shocked. This last one... Uh, was the only one that had a center spot of bad roots <laughs> so the rest of them were phenomenal so a uh, really really good set of seedlings here honestly um i did notice that some of the ones uh the bigger roots were starting to fail and that was what happens in my environment and i didn't want to see that happen so i'm glad i went ahead jumped ahead and did this and got it done um this one here this this leaf don't look so great sometimes you'll have that as well so i'll have to keep an eye on that one um but for the most part i mean i, I can't i can't complain with how great these seedlings looked uh the, the roots were really really good uh three of them wound up into three inch pots and the rest stayed in seedling pots the four did uh, the three had phenomenal roots, so that's why they went ahead and uh, one of these, the one of them was iffy. This one, I think it was. It was, it was close. It was a decision whether or not I was going to do it, and I'm like, nah, I'm just going to wait, put it in the the seedling pot, and go from there and see how it goes. So, but there's my um, repots of my uh, microfire sparklers, and. Um, I just want to say, um, you know, I, I put out a, um, I put out a, a, my year on YouTube um, to show like my stats of like what videos were most watched, the three most watched videos, um, the three most watched um, shorts, uh, who views my channels, uh, how many likes I've gotten, how many shares and things like that. And, you know, I really appreciate it, you guys. Um, it was really phenomenal to see the stats and actually how uh, how my year was on YouTube. Uh, and I couldn't have done all, I couldn't have done it without all of y'all. I mean, it's really, I want to thank each and every one of you. I really couldn't have done it without you. And I really want to say I appreciate that. Um, and... I really want you to know that, you know, I mean, like I said, a lot of my friends are going through some things, and I really want you to know I am there for you. I really am. Um, if you need me, I'm here. Uh, you know, we don't have to talk about orchids. You know, I'm, I'm, I've got friends just like everybody else, uh, and friends have problems other than orchids. You know, sometimes life happens, but um, I really want each of you to know I am thinking about you, I'm praying for you. And I really, really hope that for all of us, <laughs> next year is a lot better. Uh, this year, 2022, has been... Uh, it's been one for the books, and it's been not a good one for many of us. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can go into 2023 hoping that it really is going to be a much better year. So with that said, I appreciate all you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.